How many chances do you get to make a first impression? One, because you had that one chance on me. <laughs> well, what about with a home? One. One chance. All right, well today we're gonna talk about making that first impression if you're selling your house. And what you need to do to make the best impression ever. So I'm Jim. I'm Vicki. And we're with the Bishop team bringing you all the greatest real estate information here in Orange County, California. So sit back and we're gonna show you how to be pretty and how to be spectacular. When coming to make a first impression on your home, there's really three simple things that you need to do. So set aside a couple of weekends so you can spend some time, get your house ready. This don't cost a lot of money, but can make a big difference on what you get for your home. Or if you prefer not to do it yourself because you're at the beach sunshining during the weekend, there's lots of people that can help you. Give us a call and we'll refer you to someone that can give you a hand. So if I'm gonna get my house ready, where do I start? First and most importantly, declutter 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 and then clean a deep cleaning really goes a long way so some buyers are walk away from a house that isn't clean and you don't want that to happen to you that's absolutely true but before doing the cleaning let's declutter everything that's really personal guys we got to take it out of there so you know get some boxes go to home depot Put the tape on them and just start putting your stuff away. People don't want to see pictures of your quilt collection or, you know, your little hummels that are sitting out or any of that kind of stuff. It's just time to put it away and declutter fresh, straight, clean lines. So go ahead and do some packing before. Another thing, if your closet is one of these that's gonna like overflow when you open the door, might be a good time to put some of that stuff away. Usually closets are lower on the priority list, but you know who you are. Sure, because if a room looks perfect and we're staging it to be at perfection for your buyer, the closet can be really forgiven. But in that note, if you open it and like it's gonna bang people in the head and they're gonna fall over, then sure, let's go ahead and donate some of that. Or, you know, if you wanna box it up and take it to the new place, you can do that too. It's a good time to purge, but if you can't let go, good time to box. Okay, so when talking about deep cleaning, let's do it after the decluttering, after that stuff is gone. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, we can hire professionals, have it deep cleaned um, inside and out. The windows need to look sparkly so that we can see the trees and the sunshine out of them. Uh, screens on the windows, cleaning those really makes a big difference. And just getting down and making sure the thing is, is deep cleaned and ready to go. And one other thing is sometimes people think they need to replace their carpet, but sometimes a good cleaner can save you a lot of money and get that fresh, clean look that you're looking for. Sure, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Give us a call, we'll walk through it with you. We sell hundreds of homes, so we're pretty good at spotting. Uh, that needs to go or we can get this out. So one thing to keep in mind, if your closets are overflowing and a buyer sees that, they might think, oh, this home doesn't have enough storage space because I have a lot of stuff. Right. Maybe I should look elsewhere. Again, that's not what you want to create when selling your home. So it is nice to have the, the closets thinned out a little bit. Sure, that's true. We hear it a lot from buyers. They're like, oh my gosh, there's nowhere to put anything when in reality, a home may have a lot of storage space, it's just that that particular seller had things falling out of the closets. The second most important thing to do is go around your home and get a list of small repairs that need to be done. We walk through hundreds and hundreds of homes and have sold many, many homes, so we're very good at helping you get that list together. It's kind of like if you were selling a car, you'd want to get it detailed. So the little touch-ups go a long way. If sure. you have a broken window, a faucet that's leaking, uh, chips on the paint on the wall, or you know maybe the molding uh, has a big crack in it. Um, those are the types of things, the little things mm -hmm. that can go a long way. Caulking your sinks and regrouting, you know, touching up the grout in your in your bathrooms, making sure all those little things are done goes a long way. Sure, because all of the little things add up when buyers are walking through your home. And this is like Inspector Gadget. He can walk through. I know when we live in a home, sometimes we just start overseeing things that uh, other people can come in and point out. So uh, on a scale of one to 10, where are you? Do you want us to be a 10 in telling you every single thing or your feelings gonna get hurt and be a one? 
let's talk, let's figure out where we are and get the list together of small repairs that can be done that can make a huge difference to that buyer for your home. A, a great story comes to mind. Uh, Linda had a bathroom, just needed a little caulk. Caulk was like $2. Mm -hmm. So somebody had looked at the house before we were really on the market and said, oh man, I'm gonna need a new bathroom. They're thinking 30, 40, $50,000 when re in reality, a $2 tub of caulk and boom, it, it looked fine and she sold for a lot more money than she would have. So sure. those little things go a long way. Another thing that really goes a long way is make sure you, all of your light bulbs are in and working. And if you have say four in a room, don't get different oh, colors. Right. Um, if you have to get all new ones, it's worth the expense of creating a uniform look yes. in that room. And that all of, you know, even if you turn them down because it's too bright in a bathroom, replace them all. Light, bright, and airy helps sell a home. Certainly, again, it sounds like a really simple thing to do, and it is simple, but you need to go room by room by room. And Jim and I do this every single day with every single listing, going and making sure every single light works, everything. And there are lights in your home that you might not even know exist because. I'll tell you probably 50, 60% of the time we find lights in people's homes that they've never turned on, didn't know existed, but in that open house and when those buyers are coming through, every light's gonna be on and it's showtime. So what's the third thing we wanna do? So important and you've heard it again and again and again through all of the ages, it's curb appeal. That's right. Mm -hmm. So what, is, what can I do to improve my curb appeal? There are lots of different things that we can do to increase our curb appeal. Let's trim back our bushes. We don't want uh, big trees hanging over the house where you can't see the roof line. Um, let's make it fresh and clean. Bark around in the flower beds. Of course, fresh flowers look nice as well, but here's a trick, black bark. Black bark makes your grass and anything around it really, really pop. Uh, most people, don't usually use black bark, but for selling a house, it really gives that extra pop and it's a simple thing to do. Right. Another thing is, you know, small repairs just like inside go a long way outside. If you've got a gutter that's, you know, falling over, some trim that needs mm -hmm. to be uh, redone, things like that, again, that's a first impression that is worth fixing. Another thing that can be fun if you're into power tools and can go a long way is a, is a good power washing. If you've got grease and oil and stains and dirt and stuff on your sidewalks and patios, get that out, blast away, clean it up. And actually, that could be so much fun. <laughs> so have at it. And the front door, guys, the front door is really important. Let's make sure that it's freshly painted, it looks good, and by that front door, there needs to be a brand new or a very good looking doormat. Yeah, if, it, if your welcome mat only says, well, mm -hmm. it's time for a new one. That's right. Fresh and looking good is so important because all of the buyers are standing there waiting for the door to be open for them to come in. And while they're waiting, they're looking around at everything by that front door. So let's make sure that it looks beautiful and in perfect condition. So with just a moderate amount of effort or a few little phone calls to get some experts to come in and help you, you can make your home really go up several notches. So when you'd like experts like Vicki and I to come over and walk through your house and hold your hand, tell you exactly what to do, help you with it every step of the way, give us a call. We are here. Do this before you're ready to sell so that you can take advantage of the house looking as best it can. That is certainly true. And not just like, you know, you may feel like, oh, I don't need you to hold my hand, but you know what? It's the century. We're here to hold your hand for you. And with that, I'm Jim. I'm Vicki. And we're with the Bishop team, helping you in real estate here in Orange County, California. That's right, come along, I wanna hold your hand. <laughs>